In 1989, 79-year-old Ronald Reagan ended his second term as President of the United States. When he left office, he took with him a bizarre 140-year-old presidential jinx. Would you believe that before Reagan, every president since 1840, who was elected in a year ending in zero, died while in office? William Henry Harrison, elected in 1840, started the streak when he died after contracting pneumonia at his inauguration. Abraham Lincoln, elected in 1860, was murdered at the beginning of his second term. James Garfield, elected in 1880, was also shot and killed by an assassin shortly after taking office. Another assassin struck down William McKinley, who had been elected in 1900. Next, Warren G. Harding, elected in 1920, died from either a heart attack or a stroke while returning from a trip to Alaska. Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was re-elected in a zero year, 1940, died at the beginning of his fourth term from a cerebral hemorrhage. And finally, John F. Kennedy, elected in 1960, was assassinated in 1963. That seven elections since 1840 in a year ending in zero that resulted in seven deaths while in office. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. Ronald Reagan was elected in 1980, and just two months after being sworn in, it looked as if Reagan might become the eighth president in this morbid chain after he was shot on the chest by John Hinckley. Fortunately, he survived the assassination attempt and finally broke this strange jinx when he left office in 1989. Not only did Ronald Reagan break the curse, he was also a survivor in another sense. He left the White House as the oldest man ever to have served as U.S. president. Thank you.